And she's proposed a radical new revision to these theories of John Rawls. And it retains the basic animus of Rawlsianism, which is that justice is fundamentally about equality, right? But now she transforms the concerns about equality onto new realms. So this is a work that's on diversity, meaning racial difference should be taken into account and we should celebrate difference without domination. Title of her co-edited collection, a release from Harvard, right? Domination without, difference without domination, right? So there's a move here among our dominant elite at Harvard University and other centers of academic influence Right, to move from the traditional liberal notion of freedom as non-interference by the state, meaning negative freedom, now with the idea of domination, means the state will increasingly be in our lives. All right, we're going to move away from limiting the state to more government intrusion to create more and more equality. And there are just infinite number of realms to which one can bring about equality. Right, so now state intervention in her worldview, has absolutely no limits. You have uh, some forms of power which rest upon uh, absolute rights of a negative kind, right, such as cruelty, right, but it opens the door for positive interventions for the good of the recipient, all right, for the good of us, however much we don't want it. So the majority may want all sorts of things that the minority regards as unjust and oppressive. For example, the majority the majority of American citizens want strong law enforcement and strong punishment for people who commit violent crime. But there is a minority in this country who regards that as unjust and oppressive, right? And so where is the room for minority expression when the majority is overwhelmingly against them? And so modern racial inequality relies upon the free market an informal racial bias to recre recreate and worsen structured racial inequality. All right, that's the elite perspective. So we currently have laissez-faire racism, right? We have these hierarchies of domination which unjustly restrict opportunity, power, and influence for people of color. And so John Rawls's notions of justice about preserving negative freedoms and prioritizing economic redistribution do not touch and indeed can exacerbate racial injustice. So Daniel Allen wants something different. She wants more government intervention to ever increase equality. So just as you can uh, basically sum up the works of Leo Strauss, in he wanted to create a, a world that was user-friendly for Jews.